A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived yesterday in Budapest on a visit during which he will meet the Hungarian President Janos Eder. His Majesty the King will hold talks during the visit with the Hungarian President on good bilateral relations, binding the two friendly countries and peoples, and ways of further strengthening joint ties in addition to regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was received on arrival by the Director of the Gulf Department at the Foreign and Trade Ministry, representative of Hungarian president and Bahrain's ambassador to Budapest. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Dean of St. Christopher's Cathedral Church, the Very Reverend Christopher Budd, at Qadabiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Deputy King highlighted His Majesty King Hamad's commitment to promoting the principles of diversity and mutual respect through interfaith dialogue. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom is recognized as a model of interfaith and cultural coexistence, emphasizing the Kingdom's long standing history history in this regard. The Deputy King wished the outgoing Dean success in all future and the overs. He also welcomed the newly appointed Dean of St. Christopher's Cathedral Church and the Archicon on the Gulf and Vulnerable Canon Dr. Bill Schwartz. For his part, the Dean of St. Christopher's Cathedral Church expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy King for the chance to meet him, hailing the cultural diversity and interreligious tolerance in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa patronized today the opening ceremony of the Gulf Construction Expo organized by Al Hilal Conferences held at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center with the participation of 140 exhibitors from 19 countries and in the presence of senior officials, ambassadors, businessmen and media personnel. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of the real estate sector in the economic system considering it an important economic and investment pillar. He noted that a real estate investment in Bahrain is successful and safe and that the government seeks to overcome obstacles to develop the sector, facilitate the process of investment in it and make sure that the legislation related to real estate affairs are in line with local and international developments in this vital sector. His Royal Highness praised the role of specialized exhibitions in real estate including the Gulf Property Exhibition which represents an opportunity to highlight the developing real estate investments in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that urban development is a field of competitiveness between countries and a measure of their success in achieving sustainable urban development and keeping up with modernity and progress, noting his pride in Bahrain's investment attracting environment that reflects the strength of the national economy and its ability to develop. Afterwards, His Royal Highness opened and toured the exhibition where he hailed its real estate projects that strengthened the kingdom's location. The Prime Minister affirmed that the increase of real estate projects and modern cities in the kingdom reflects the success of the efforts exerted to develop the sector, adding that Bahrain's investment environment encouraged investors to establish projects in the kingdom. His Royal Highness expressed admiration with the exhibition as it represents an opportunity for Bahrain's and Gulf real estate development to meet, support joint investments and hold more partnerships and deals. His Royal Highness stressed that the exhibitions and conference industry is receiving great international attention and that the Kingdom is keen to provide all elements that makes it an ideal location for hosting international and specialized exhibitions. His Royal Highness asserted that the government is keen on supporting the real estate sector by providing the required infrastructure to enable it to perform its tasks in supporting Bahrain's directions on the developmental and sustainable levels. He noted that the government will continue to take the required procedures to provide a legal environment which will grant reassurance for investors in this sector. His Royal Highness added that the real estate sector is one of the main pillars of Bahrain in its plans to diversify the source of income and attract capital to invest in the kingdom, noting that the capabilities of this sector support the national economy 
economy and provide development opportunities. He expressed pride in the national real estate caters, which influenced real estate trading, innovative construction projects, contributed to enhancing the investment environment in Bahrain, and attracted foreign investors in this vital sector. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the organizers and participants of the Gulf Property Show for their efforts in making the show a success, wishing them further success on all levels. For his part, the chairman of the board of directors of Al Hilal Conference and Exhibitions, Anwar Abdurrahman, expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's support of the show, which reflects his support of the private sector and the economic and investment activities. The executive director of Al Hilal Conference and Exhibitions, Jibran Abdurrahman, expressed thanks for His Royal Highness's patronage, affirming that he is the main supporter of the conference and exhibitions industry in Bahrain. Gulf Property, one of the best uh, exhibition that it uh, tells in Bahrain. We we participate every year. Our support always is we the strength we get it from our prime minister. And and uh, today we see the good uh, developer and the new developer is participating in this uh, exhibition. Therefore, that what it gives us the confidence in the markets and the strength. The Gulf. Uh, property show is uh, very unique, uh, very important to be part of it. Uh, our our uh, stand, one of the biggest stand in Bahrain, our project, it's a unique and one of the biggest project in real estate development in Bahrain and it's very important to be part of it and to show the progress and to release and to launch new projects that will actually have a, a good value for Bahrain and in particular Diyar Muharraq. This exhibition is uh, important for the real estate development in general. Uh, it supports and uh, helps us get together and uh, learn from each other. Uh, it also supports the, uh, the international investors to see what is happening in Bahrain and the different opportunities available. We consider the Gulf Property Show one of the most important uh, real estate uh, shows in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It brings together under one roof uh, developers, contractors and uh, interior designers and is a really good opportunity for networking as well as making new relationships uh, that could result in partnerships. This exhibition is a very good uh, place for uh, uh, people from around the region to come see many um, uh, projects but particularly we hope they come and look at uh, DeFaf. On a yearly basis, this gives a huge support to all the developers to present, to innovate, to come up with the new ideas in order to present it to His Highness. Uh, this year, I see a huge progress in terms of the stand, in terms of the quality of the project. I'm sure that this exhibition will be a success story and the real estate market in Bahrain will boom in 2019. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Southern Governor Zana Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the graduation of the 12th batch of the master's students. The Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance BIBF is running the master's degree program in cooperation with the US-based DePaul University. The graduation ceremony was held yesterday at the Diplomat Hotel in Manama and the presence of senior officials, representatives of DePaul University and invitees from financial sector and other enterprises and graduates' parents. Hazana Sheikh Khalifa conveyed greetings from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates, wishing them success in their future career. He underlined His Royal Highness's support to outstanding Bahraini nationals in all educational establishments and fields out of the firm belief in the vital importance of investments in human resources, which represent the cornerstone of development and progress. He commended the role of the BIBF, which contributes through postgraduate specialized programs in supporting Bahrain's efforts to boost development and spur growth. He congratulated the graduates, hailing their dedicated efforts and wishing them success in their careers to contribute to their country's development and progress.
The Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended an event entitled Celebrating Earth Day organized by the Governorate in coordination and cooperation with the Southern Municipality and the Municipal Council coinciding with World Earth Day at Amagwefa Park in Rafah. His Highness highlighted the importance of concerted efforts and utilization of all capacities in community partnership to conserve national resources as he planted a palm tree during the event. He he pointed out the role of the relevant authorities in preserving the environment and agricultural development by spreading the culture of recycling and sustainability of natural resources. Afterwards, the Southern Governor honored a number of volunteers who contributed to the environmental awareness of recycling by spreading this culture in shops across the governorate. The Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, organized a periodical forum in its headquarters in Rafah to review and evaluate the national plan for the advancement of Bahraini women of 2019 to 2022. The SCW Secretary General Hala Ansari said that the forum aims to brief all state institutions on the results of the review following five years of its implementation with a special focus on what has already been integrated into the government's action plan. Al Ansari said that the forum also aimed at shedding light on the efforts of state institutions to implement equal opportunity measures which are intended to decrease the gap between male and female participation. Al Ansari also said that the SCW represents a national organization that is keen on monitoring the progress of Bahraini women and that it is working on knowledge production and management and the creation of databases. Al Ansari added that the SCW is also working on generating and cementing studies on women-related matters, a fruit of which was the establishment of a body to monitor development indicators on women. The forum commenced its agenda with the presentation by General Director of Policies and Development, Sheikh Adina bint Rashid Al Khalifa, along with the General Director of Administration, Azadeen Khalil Al Muayyad, in which the results of the review and a summary of the National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women were discussed. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Chairman of the Civil Service Council for Government Entities, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in cooperation with the Civil Service Bureau and the relevant authorities to thoroughly check the certificates of all holders of senior positions in the government and submit a report to the Civil Service Council, the President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zayan Al Zayed, noted that the Civil Service Bureau completed the audit and study of 63% of the total number of qualifications of senior positions. The results of the audit showed the validity of these qualifications and the fulfillment of all conditions, revealing the referral of a director of a government agency to a disciplinary committee after refraining from delivering proof of his qualifications. As I explained that the Civil Service Bureau is in the process of implementing the directives of His Royal Highness, where the remaining qualifications amounting to 37% of the total qualifications qualifications are currently being examined through examination and verification. He called on senior officials to cooperate with the audit specialists to provide all the needs of the Civil Service Bureau to complete the inspection of all qualifications. He affirmed that the implementation of His Royal Highness's directives is being implemented strictly and transparently to all senior employees without exception and a first report will be submitted to the Civil Service Bureau as soon as the inspection process process is completed. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the decision of the U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo regarding the sanctions on importers of Iranian oil. This step is crucial in order to further support and strengthen efforts exerted in combating terrorism and eradicating Iran's malign and dangerous activities that aim to undermine security and stability and support terrorist organizations and militias in the region. The Kingdom commends the pivotal role of the United States in its relentless efforts 
and strategic decisions to eliminate violence, extremism and terrorism and all those supporting or funding it on the regional and international levels. The kingdom also reiterates its unequivocal support to the U.S. and calls for the need to enhance international efforts aimed at eradicating the Iranian regime's malign activities and policies that threaten security and peace and to end its attempts in spreading chaos in the region, thus respecting the independence and sovereignty of states and not interfering in their internal affairs.